Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm gonna be sharing my February favorites, and you're probably thinking to yourself, Amber, it is almost the end of March. I mentioned in my February empties that I posted last week that I had some technical difficulties that I think they're since resolved. So today I'm gonna to be sharing those products that I found myself not being able to put down. And I'm also gonna be sharing one flop that may surprise you. So if you are interested in hearing a little bit more about those products and my experience with those, stay tuned. So my first product is definitely not a newbie. It's the Paula's Choice Calm Brightness Relief Repairing Serum. This is from their Calm line and I think I've been through, I don't even know how many of these I, I truly I've, I've been through. I've lost count at this point. But given that I have sensitive prone skin, this is always going to be in my skincare arsenal. Who do I think would like this? I mean, pretty much anybody, to be honest with you. There's a lot of fantastic ingredients in this. In terms of hydrating ingredients, it has both sodium hyaluronate as well as hyaluronic acid. It has ceramides, CoQ10, cholesterol, and there's quite a bit in terms of soothing ingredients in this as well. Licorice extract, feverfew extract, willow herb, sea whip extract, and beta glucan. So there's a lot in here and I think it's at an excellent price point. I think this is about $36 USD. And if you're someone that does procedures, summer's coming up, maybe you might be getting a little bit too much sun even though you've put sun protection on. If you're reaction prone, rosacea, anything like that, I think you would really like this uh, serum. I've used this both AM as well as PM. I think it also really mixes well with other products. So if I want to add a booster to this, such as the Paula's Choice Niacinamide Booster, or maybe an additional vitamin C serum, just to kind of give this a little bit more oomph. Um, I think that it mixes really well with those. It also layers really well under other products and makeup also layers very well over this as well. So I'll try to include links to this product both on Paula's Choice website as well as Nordstrom. I purchased from both places and to be completely honest with you, I tend to pick it up from wherever has the best deal, either with gifts with purchase or samples. So definitely something I would encourage you to check out, especially if you're sensitive prone. Next up is an eyeshadow palette and this is from Viseart. It is the Trist palette. When I saw this palette, especially the swatches, I knew that I had to have it. This was a Valentine's Day present to myself and I, I can't get enough of these shades. I actually did an eye look today, just really simple with some of the matte shades. Let me show you. Pretty rose gold packaging, but those are what the shades look like. I'm trying to avoid the glare. Super pretty. The shimmers aren't anything that has too much fallout. It's not glittery and the mattes are really, really pretty as well. I really feel that these shades bring out the green in my eyes, but to be completely honest with you, I think that these colors would look great with pretty much any eye color, to be honest with you. I hadn't really had Viseart shadows on my radar until I started to hear Stephanie Nicole talk about them. If you're not already following her, please check out her channel. I will link that below. She's probably one of the most authentic, knowledgeable about the beauty industry folks that's on YouTube, so definitely check her out. I always find her content great. It's just super refreshing to have someone that's so honest. I really like the size on the mirror on this, and I think that this would be really great for travel. I only have two complaints about this. One is this shade right here, which is kind of like a shimmery matte, and it's in a dark brown color. And I just find that it's a little bit less pigmented than some of the other matte shades that they have. I think what would have really rounded out this palette is to take that shade and make it a little bit lighter and a little bit more characteristic of most of their mattes. That would be a perfect transition shade. That's the only color that I really feel is missing from this range. And the only other complaint that I had is that the names come on this plastic sheet, which is helpful to know the names, but I think given the price tag on this, this is $49 USD, I think it would have been nice to have it written on the actual product right underneath each pan. I picked this up from Beautylish, and this was actually my first purchase from them. I have a feeling I'm gonna be purchasing much more going forward, 
free shipping if you spend $35 and it came to me relatively quickly and I loved how it was packaged, especially since it was a gift to myself. It really did feel like I was opening up a present. It was just packaged really thoughtfully and not really characteristic of what we've been seeing lately from some of their competitors. This is now at Sephora, but I do believe that this is limited edition. If you would like a review on this palette, definitely let me know. I could do like a get ready with me. It won't be a tutorial. I'm not a makeup artist, just a bit of a beauty junkie. So let me know below if you would like to know a little bit more about my experience with this palette. So in sticking with eyeshadows, my next favorite is from Stila. This is the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and the shade that I picked up is Boheme. This has been a favorite that I haven't been able to put down all month. I was so excited when Stila came out with the shimmers. Initially they had the glitters and I'm just not much of a glitter girl. I feel like for me that boat has sailed. But I do love a strategically placed shimmer on the eye. I think it just adds something really special to the eye. And the shade Boheme, I initially went into Ulta. I had a 20% off coupon that didn't exclude Prestige. And I saw Christina Brawley talk about the shade Cloud. So I swatched that one and I felt like there was a little bit too much visible glitter. But then I picked up Boheme. And this one is described as a shimmery pale lilac. Whereas Cloud is described as a shimmering lavender with gold pearl. So very similar shades. And that up top right there, hope you guys can see, is Boheme. It's super pretty. One of my favorite ways to apply this is to apply a base shadow to my lids. Oftentimes it's the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Cream Eyeshadow, just in kind of a regular uh, skin tone shade. Then I will put on a transition shade, and then I will just kind of place a little bit of that on the lid, and I think it really adds something special. These last all day. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know I have no patience for reapplying my makeup as the day goes on, especially when I'm working. And I just, I think that they're really pretty. I've had my eye on the color Grace, which I think is kind of like a warm taupe. So the next time that Stila is having a sale, or I might pick up one of these in the next Sephora VIB sale, which I am going to be doing a video on my picks. So stay tuned for that. So I do have my eye on some other uh, shades of these. If you are currently using these and have a favorite shade I would love to hear what it is below so definitely let me know so I had quite a few eye favorites this month and this one is from pixie it's the endless silky eye pen and the color is black this came in a skin store advent calendar and I had quite a few samples it was right on the holidays so I had quite a few things and this just kind of sat in my drawer then I heard Mandy uh, Davis MUA if you're not following her I will include her channel below she was talking about this in a recent favorites and I'm like hmm I think I have that so I pulled it out of my drawer and I started using this this is fantastic when I initially got this I'm like okay great another black eyeliner it's not another black eyeliner this goes on so smoothly I don't have to pull at my lid in order to get in there it glides on like a dream and this doesn't budge truly it doesn't budge when I go to take my makeup off at the end of the night I usually use an oil or a balm cleanser then follow with a second cleanse I usually have to go in after all of that with a q-tip and kind of going around my lash line to get the last little bit. So if you are looking for an eyeliner that is not a liquid eyeliner, that's gonna stay all day, really smooth going on, then definitely consider this. I think this is also at a great price point. I think Target has these for like $12. And I was on their website looking and they had a variety of other shades. So I definitely have these on my radar. I do wanna pick up some other colors. If you've used this, definitely let me know below. I would love to hear your thoughts. All right, so those are my favorites. And as I mentioned, I had one flop that might really surprise you. This I wanted so badly to work for me. I think it's a great product, but there's just one defining feature that I couldn't get past. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So many people talk about this, and it really is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And I think it's at a great price point. It's usually $14.99. You can get it at the drugstore. They often have these on sale. I know I went to CVS... I think two days ago and if you spent I think $15 on physician formula you got $10 extra care bucks so there's ways to, to get this cheaper than the $14.99 I know that's a little bit pricier for drugstore it blends out really beautifully and gives a really natural finish to the skin so you might be asking yourself well Amber what's the problem it's the scent it is way too much for me I can't usually wear anything too fragranced on my face 
for a variety of reasons. One, I'm so prone to headaches, especially migraines, and oftentimes scents will trigger those. And two, um, scents in either makeup or skincare products, because I'm so sensitive prone, will trigger a reaction. And so I can't, I can't risk that with my skin. I initially thought that the fragrance on this was because of the butters that are in this product. However, fragrance is the eighth ingredient, which is relatively close to the top. So I was a little bit disappointed by that. So if fragrance doesn't bother you, then I think that this is a really nice product. But for me, the reason why I saved the box is that this is going back to CVS. One of the things that I like to do is purchase from places that I can return. I don't mind trying new things and I'm really thoughtful and I do my research prior to picking up things because I don't want to be wasteful because I know that these products essentially end up in the trash. So this is going to be going back to CVS. There are some other things that I do have my eye on from Physicians Formula. If you have some that are your favorites, also definitely let me know below. All right, guys, that is it. Those were my February favorites. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me. If you like this video and you like favorites in general, consider giving me a like. I am adding this to my favorites playlist, so if you enjoy watching favorites, definitely check that out as well. If you haven't yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you here again and also consider hitting that notification bell so that you know when I'm coming out with new videos. Again, thank you so very much and I will see you guys all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.